All right, guys, welcome back. We are what? Oh my God, December 3rd, 2023 and crypto. Oh, it just broke 40,000 right when I hit the start button. Uh, confetti, champagne, it's gonna go. I just dollar cost average in $100. And uh, of course, Fidelity adds on a, to the spot price. So I paid a little more. Anyway, let's watch that on the left screen. On the right screen, I wanna share another resource with you guys. But first, FOMO, do not have the fear of missing out. This is only for entertainment. Do your own research. Invest only what you're willing to lose. And uh, have fun with it. It's a hobby. Uh, and don't listen to anybody on YouTube. This is all for entertainment, guys. All right. Having said that, here is a good resource I like. Investorplace.com. Just saw this article. It is three hours old. Hot off the digital presses, baby. Woo! So anyway, you're getting it first. And you may not have known about this site, but you may have. Uh, I'm a little slow to the parade now and then, but... Sometimes I come out with a winner, a winner resource that is. I believe it's 80 20. Like I said before in my stream, you maybe lose 80% of time and hopefully win 20% of time in life. Uh, that's probably optimistic, maybe, but it might be like 95 5 or 99 1. Yeah. Life can be a pain in the butt sometimes. So here we are, Investor Place, three hours old. Three cryptos to buy before the Bitcoin ETF goes live. And I think that's why on the left we're seeing 40K and yesterday's spike of a thousand boom at uh, uh, 1400 hours the puppy jumped up with all that volume look at the volume you can see the volume on the left I'm gonna bring up my Yahoo page real quick if I have it bear with me of course it doesn't pop up uh, let's go here let's go here Bitcoin one click <clears throat> and we're gonna show you this it is slow. 40,000, one, two, three. I want to see the volume. It is moving, baby. What timing? What timing, big daddies? Come on, full screen. It's going up. And there was a huge uh, buy block on GDAX that was going to go crazy when it hit 40. So it's at 40,000, one, two, three right now. All right. Anyway, so these are the three cryptos to buy before the Bitcoin ETF goes live. Don't sleep through the next crypto bull run. That's they're saying. Again, Careful of FOMO, fear of missing out. Just be careful with this stuff. It's highly volatile. It's all speculative. But again, the BlackRock ETF and all the ETF discussions have been, I think, the impetus, is that the word, the motivator, the, uh, the fuel behind these uh, latest jumps. This is cool. Oh, on the left is uh, Coinbase Pro. You're watching. And that used to be the old GDAX. And it's like a trader tool I used to use when I was trading Bitcoin buying Bitcoin in the early days, 2017, 18, all those days. The uh, OG days, baby. Oh, where are we at? 40,001. Oh, it's dropping a little bit. All right, here we go. So buy these three cryptos before a catalyst like the ETF approval and the halving kick in. I keep forgetting about the halving, but Litecoin went through a halving and the price went way down. So I don't know anything about halving and what it affects on volume accumulation and pricing i don't know enough about that so i won't mess with that so they're saying bitcoin obviously it's digital gold with a fixed supply that is the sense of urgency limited supply demand uh scarcity of resource drives price up if there's a million uh toyota tundras and the value is going to drop right like a billion right but uh, like with bitcoin it's limited fixed supply Ethereum, I don't know much about Ethereum. I own maybe a little bit, but I have no idea. I mined it. That's all I know about it. ETH powers the Web3 ecosystem and could scale with increased blockchain adoption. I don't like could scale, so stick with Bitcoin. Litecoin, my nemesis. I bought this puppy. Ugh, I'm underwater a bit. I think I bought this in 2016, 2017. Went up to 250. The owner of it, the organizer, the creator bails on it on the dumps all his, leaves us holding the bags. That's where all these terms come from. You're left holding the bag. All right, so this coin is faster. It's a faster sibling to Bitcoin with historically amplified price moves. Uh, no, I don't know what that means. That's not true. It shot up to 400 bucks, but then came crashing down again too. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't know what he means by that. Bigger swings now, it's been holding about 70. What's it at now? 72 it's not moving i don't know i don't buy that statement all right the recent spike in bitcoin price above thirty-eight thousand nine 
Now 40,162, baby. The wall of orders is going through. Look at the volume spike right there. Can you see my mouse right there? Big Daddy, see the big dice? Right there was a hit. Right when it hit 40, all those orders went through and the volume. That means people are buying at the 40,000 psychological mark. Crazy times. Crazy times. Uh, we don't need to read through the rest of this. Let's see. However, it goes, it goes from far beyond the ETF. Bitcoin has major catalysts approaching. Like the mining reward having projected for mid-2024. This event occurs every few years, cutting the rewards that miners receive by half and it uh, significantly impacting supply and demand dynamics over the long run. Considering mining rewards are the uh, only new Bitcoins entering circulation, halvings tend to precede major bull runs. All right, I did not see that with Litecoin. All right, uh, that shows that Bitcoin drives everything. Let's see, also macro and economic factors aligned to Bitcoin's favor. Interest rates are still painfully high, painfully, but will likely decline in 2024 and 2025. Lower rates combined with the ETF and having could create a perfect storm for the crypto. You never know. You just don't know. Less likely crypto projects for newcomers are important for long-term staying power. And there's other ones as well. And there's Bitcoin. Of course, we just mentioned that is the obvious top pick for any crypto portfolio right now since it has several major catalysts lined up for 2023 and 2024. Let's go on. Ethereum. All right. The second largest crypto by market cap. Ethereum dominates the smart contracts and Web3 spaces. It allows for decentralized apps. All right. We get it. You should know what it is. If not, go to Investor Place and read this article yourself. I don't want to read to you. I just want to point out this resource. And of course, Litecoin, which uh, I don't like Litecoin. I own it. I would love to dump it and just buy Bitcoin, which I probably should have done. Uh, let's see, can be seen as a smaller sibling to Bitcoin with higher risk, but higher reward potential. Well, let's give me some of that higher reward. I've been waiting uh, three, six years now. Come on, big daddies. Come on, give me that higher potential reward. One of the oldest and most established crypto projects uh, Litecoin is essentially a faster Bitcoin fork with lower fees and a uh, few tweaks. I do know sometimes if you want to move uh, crypto around the ecosphere, you sometimes flip it to Litecoin first. And then when you transfer it over, you send it over. Uh, the fees are a lot less and it's faster. Uh, da, 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 let's see. Litecoin. Let's see. It uh, operates similarly to Bitcoin and uh, the vast majority of code is identical. Interesting. Thus, Litecoin correlation to Bitcoin price action tends to be extremely high. It isn't, though. I'm not seeing it. Right now, we got Bitcoin at 40100 and then Litecoin's only at 72 Come on. Light Litecoin should have moved accordingly percentage-wise, and it hasn't. So, I'm again, like I said, doubt but verify. Read, read this crap, consume it, and go, hmm, I'm not seeing that on the graphs, dude. So maybe you mean something else, and that's what I mean by doubt but verify. Uh, let's see. So if Bitcoin indeed kicks off a new bull market in 2024, Litecoin seems poised to massively outperform it. Uh, I hope so. I'm not going to live off hopium. Hopium is not a sound investment strategy. So careful with that. Uh, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. All right. That's it. This is Omor, I guess. And that's all I got for this. Go check out InvestorPlace.com. Check out the article. Like I said, it's just a resource. Treat it as such. It's not a uh, guide. It's just information that someone wrote. And it may be helpful to you, but it may not. And like I said, I don't believe the, some of the stuff he wrote about Litecoin. So be cautious with that. But what I got away from that is there's three catalysts coming for Bitcoin, the ETF, the halving, and something else. <laughs> I totally forgot what it was. Uh, it's in here. You go read it. I don't want to waste your time. So now oh, drop back down below 40, which surprised me. See the red candle dropping down. It's hovering. It's hovering. 39, let's see, hold on, I'm gonna go over here for a sec. You can see the order book right here. What if I, I'm gonna stretch this little guy out. This is called, there we go, the split view, the page, uh, the split view on the um, Mac operating system. So you can see it's holding at 40. Oh man, there's a wall coming again, and there's some sell. They're afraid if it drops, these people are gonna start selling, but here's the order, the wall order right here about, oh my God, 40,000, 304 
interesting why it's there. I, I mean, 40,000 had the huge wall and it went through and ate it up like a little piggy. And uh, now we're waiting at 40,003. Anyway, good times. It's kind of fun right now. And uh, yeah, go forth and check it out yourself and let me know what you guys are doing, what you think. Uh, yeah, we're hovering. It's, it's trying to keep above that 40K, man. It's fighting. It's fighting resistance. So this is kind of cool. Go to Coinbase Pro, do the BTC to USD, and you will see the same chart. Woo! All right, guys, I'm out. Go forth. Have fun with this. It's a cool little hobby to watch this stuff. Um, do not invest more than you're willing to lose. This is crypto. It'll go to 60,000 like before, maybe, and then drop back down to 20. And you're like, uh, eh? I'm left holding the bag. Yeah, man. Don't be afraid to take profits if, you, if it does go good. And um, yeah, I'm in it for the long term. That's my stance. All right, guys. Thank you. If you get any use or any entertainment out of this video, man, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. It helps. It helps go feed my dog. And um, yeah, even though I don't get any money from this crap, this YouTube, but it helps. All right. Thank you. I am out. Blammo.